Ashley, you flip flopped your stance on violence this season. Sure did. You know, Monique I did was not. far sure more did. violent than Mia, and you defended her to the courts. Monique's attorney said that I should write just what was seen publicly. So I wrote about what happened at your house when we were at the reunion and then how we had back and forth on social media. So basically so the statement, statement was to Candace. assassinate mm -hmm. Candace's character. Everyone came to Candace's defense as they should have. And you wanted to no be a hero. No one came to Wendy's defense. No one checked to make sure that she was okay when she was the person who had been violated. And no one was holding Mia's feet to the fire for her actions. Everybody chastised Monique, told her she was a misrepresentation of black women and all she this was. stuff. I mean, all everyone went true. for her jugular. But as no one was saying have. anything to Mia, and I didn't think that was fair, and I will stand by that. Well, let me move on to Giselle. Your reaction to what happened in Miami seems hypocritical and the opposite of your reaction to what happened with Monique. So now you have Mia throwing a drink and hitting her with her purse. And how is that different? What Monique did to Candace is completely different than the drink throwing. Candace, I felt like, got beat up. This was a drink toss. So... The Can two are not question? comparable. You're saying that Chris made you feel a certain way? Yes. Okay, so listen to her. She felt a certain way. Yeah. She got a martini thrown in her eyes. Right. She felt violated. Right. So, I don't like her. I so understand. I do, it doesn't then, matter to me. You know what? That's, Just, that's your moral, that's, 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 that's that, your moral compass. That, right is right and that, wrong is wrong. And, if it's wrong, that it's wrong. That doesn't hold up in a, in a court. That says everything. The common denominator of ladies on the show who do the same thing at the same time is you. Did you steal the idea to do a live show from Robin and Giselle like you did with Wendy's Candles? I'm so happy for this question because, all due respect, Wendy, I launched my fragrance almost four years ago, okay? Yes. At that time, I announced the candles were coming next. So I was being very gracious to you when you brought the candle over because I didn't want to steal your thunder. But that was years in advance of you announcing it. As far as Giselle and I, in that park that day, I told you guys, and Ashley was there too. I said, I'm doing my live show. I don't know if you had gotten there at that time. We started laughing. What's the next question? <laughs> I have to assume that your show, Karen, owes a great deal to the Countess and Friends show. Oh, Lord. No, you know what? Candace hit it on the head when she came there. She knew it was a variety show. That's so knew what that the Countess's show is. I get that, but you asked me my inspiration, and right. it was Carol Burnett. Audience. I thought your inspiration was Wendy Williams. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. It's all good. Be shady, Andy. I got it. Well, no, I'm not being but you shady. Are more I just thought... than welcome to come to Philadelphia. Thank you. I have a VIP ticket for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Karen, who or what is a la dame? I have a lot of love on social media, so I named them the la dames, and that's why I said la dames rise. You know, hey, really when nice. you said la dames rise, did anybody stand up? And social media, yes. If I say la dame rise doing my 300 person sold out show, mm -hmm. I'm sure the rise. Hello. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we know what the la dames are. If if there was a group called the Robins, what would they be? Boring. Oh. Boy. oh. It was supposed to be like a three and a half hour surgery. It ended up being eight and a half hours. How hard was it telling your kids, and not only telling your kids, but telling them on camera? Super hard. I didn't know how they were going to react, and I knew that they were going to be scared. Um... We'll talk about it later. No, we're talking about it now. So my sister was with me. She was getting updates every hour. And then they stopped updating her. So for like hours, I was in surgery and, you know, there was no update. So my kids were like terrified. They still don't even want to talk about it. Like, they're like, we didn't think that you were going to come home. And I told them, I'm not spending the night at the hospital. And because the surgery was so long... You spent the night. I had to spend the night. My bladder was compromised. I had a catheter, all that. It was, it was bad. So... I didn't come home. Right. And so my kids were done. Glad you're okay. Thank you. Glad you're happy you did it. Yes.